like this morning I've woke up well <laughs> last night I didn't get much sleep um, lots of things going around in my head it's that time again where you start thinking about a million things all in one go and you get restless and you get anxious and then you start questioning yourself and you start wondering what the right thing is to do and things like that blah 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 so anyway after speaking to um, two of my oldest old close buddies from school um, it's made me realise that um, I did realise a long time ago obviously people that, that have known me uh, for a while uh, will know that before Christmas I'd, I'd made the conscious decision to, to want to move from Cornwall Cornwall had beaten me and um, I needed to move then obviously the cancer came into it which has snowballed from there and made it impossible for me to be able to have the energy to um, search for property and, and do my finances and, and make sure uh, that we're stable enough to move. Well, I do believe now that the, when I've made the decision to move, oh I've got a delivery, I hope it's Molly Spanish shoes, well I hope it's me anyway, it's me. Right, I've got a delivery just come, I don't know if they're coming to the door. But anyway, um, I've made the conscious decision to move November last year. And then I get diagnosed with um, cancer. Oh, it is for me, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So anyway, um, yeah. Then in the in December, um, it came out that there was a possibility I might have cancer, which obviously stopped everything in its tracks. And January, I got diagnosed with ovarian cancer, which then made me think, right, I've got to stay in Cornwall. Um, because that's the only way but no the reason it happened was to delay me from moving because it wasn't the right time for the kids the best time to move will be September because or August because Liz is in senior school and will need to finish the year before she goes into exam years Molly will be starting senior school then and Daniel will be fine he'll, he'll recover I'm sure and he'll forgive me for leaving his friends behind. So maybe this happened just to slow me down and to make me think a bit more. In relation to talking to my oldest buddies, that's made me realise that I do need to move from Cornwall. Um, you know, I, I need to be closer to family and friends and, and I need to be accessible for... You know, I'm, I'm 300 miles away from you guys and the only support that I've got, emotional support, is from all my friends and family that are 300 miles away. Because um, I, I haven't got it here. I am literally doing it on my own. Um, the only support that I've got here is, is lifts to the hospital when I need them and that's it I'm not getting regular visits apart from my friend Vicky from church and because of it it's becoming very very it's becoming harder now but I have to take into consideration that my kids have, have got good social groups they've got good friends they've got 
bloody brilliant schools. Lizzie's is the is the third, um, the third best in the country. You know. And I need to think about their futures and their stability. And is there stability here with everything that they've got right now? Or is, it, is their stability going to be moving back with family and friends? And obviously the latter seems to be more... But I, I'm, still, I'm still having a hard time with it um, to know what to do for best. And whether this be anything to do with... Oh, 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 oh. Molly Spanish shoes for Spanish Day. See, they've got one at Spanish Day, and what do I buy? I buy a whole outfit, including shoes. But that's what I've always done. That's awesome. I'm glad that they've turned up on time. I was wondering if they wouldn't. I can sell them on afterwards, so it doesn't matter. Um, It's, it's very difficult to think about me, 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 when you've never been that way. I know there's some people out there that think, oh no, it's always been about you, it's always been about you, especially the exes, because obviously, you know, exes always think that you're selfish and that it's all about you. But, actually for the first time in my life, it is about me and I'm finding it very, very hard and very difficult to think about what I need and I do need to be closer to my family and friends but I'm a huge battle because my kids mean the world to me and I, and I don't want to take away the stuff that they've got. Uh, Lizzie just starts college after half term. You know, that, that Molly's in the Kerno voice choir. Daniel's becoming a fantastic little footballer and I was going to try and get him into Plymouth Argyle because he's out now and he can. Lizzie's got some great opportunities for photography down here. We'll shove it up there. We'll Molly have the chance to get back into another choir or a singing drama group up there. I just... You know... It's about my kids, not me. Um, one thing I will say though is cancer changes absolutely everything that you, things you wouldn't even think of, it changes in your life. Um, it changes the dynamics, it changes the dynamics of absolutely everything. And I suppose people can succumb to it as well, I can understand how people can give in to it, um, but the most important thing that you need to do is you've got to stay strong and you've got to stick with your beliefs and stick with your normal life, don't let it overcome or take over your life completely because that's when it will destroy you. Um, so my advice to people who you know, are going through the same, and especially women with ovarian cancer, because obviously you have, especially after you've had your hysterectomy, you know, you've still got those hormones that are left that are, are fighting with each other, and it becomes a, a bigger thing. Um, so it becomes a, a, a bigger thing emotionally because it's not just the the fact that you've had your half half the woman you used to be is gone um, yeah lots to think about lots to think about but um, I'm, I'm sure that I'll make the right decision in the end. And, um, and thanks, Chris, again. You really made my day this morning when I got up and listened to it. And um, I love you all lots. And I think if there's anywhere that I want to 
move to, it'll probably be Burntwood. So, if anybody, you know, sees any houses that are, that are cheap and that are empty, let me know, guys, because I do want to come home. But I'm still fighting because my kids' lives are here. Um, see what happens yeah all right i'll blog again tomorrow see you all thank you for watching bye